Yo, what's up guys? So, took a couple days off for the 4th of July weekend. Um, I apologize, but we're gonna get right back into it. Um, I'm just now getting in my car and today is gonna be a big day, I think. So, um, yeah, it should be a good one. This video, vlog, whatever you call it, should be should be pretty good. So, um, I just got done. Um, been a busy morning, so I wasn't able to get the camera out. Um, there's about 15 things right there that I had to ship, but that's not too bad. But I had to do a lot on the computer. I had a lot of relisting. Um, what else did I have to do? Well, I got ready. I got my pink shirt on, feeling good. Got ready. Um, th there was a couple people asking me to lower the price on a couple items, and I was willing to do it. So I lowered some prices, had to, and then had to raise them back up after they were done paying for it. And so, like, there were some things that were kind of time-consuming. But yeah, then I just uh, packaged everything up. Now I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna stop by the post office, and then after the post office, I'm really excited. Um, my last videos were talking about how this tripod I've been using is just a hunk of crap, and I'm not lying. It, it wobbles and like the camera wobbles on it and like it, it almost falls off so I have to be super careful It literally has made it hard to make good vlogs because I have to worry about like holding the camera special and But anyways, yeah, we're gonna drive down to REI and grab the uh, the new tripod. I got I got a gorilla Something something rather tripod and gorilla octopus tripod. So yeah, we'll go down there Grab that and then I think after that we will hit Nike um, and then after that, I'm gonna hit both Rosses today. There's two in my town. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that before. And then I'm gonna probably hit Goodwill. So we'll get a good, good couple stores in today. Show you how I do it. Rather than just the last few videos, we're just one or two stores. So yeah, today will be good. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so we got the packages dropped off. We are empty seat. Um, but yeah, I was just sitting here, I just got in the car, I was thinking about, so I've had some haters, I've had some people that just, um, they don't believe what I do or what I say I do. Um, so I'm gonna clarify it right now, um, just to get the, some things straightened out. I don't think that I make a ton of money off of each pair of shoes I sell. I honestly don't make very much. Um, I've had some people say, dude, you're a book and you think you make money, you only make $30 or $20 per shoe and they laugh about it and I'm like Well, yeah, I actually do make 20 or $30 per shoe, but I'm doing it different than all of you guys I'm doing it way different than most people. I'm selling 20 well today you saw my packages I had about 15 about 15 pairs of shoes add that up I mean if I just say I made $20 at the least which usually I make closer to 50 sometimes I only make 15 sometimes I only make 20 I'm not flexing on anybody but if you think about it I sell just say today I mean today you saw it firsthand on let the clip before um, I sold about 15 pairs um, so do 15 times 20 there you go so I'm not making little money here I'm not sitting here saying this to flex but people are like saying I've had some people say how are you gonna try to make a video to teach people to do this when you're making chump change and this and that and it's just like funny to me because I mean I wouldn't have thought of getting this camera I got this camera solely to do this to teach people to do this I didn't have this camera and decide to do it afterwards I bought this camera to make this channel to teach people to, how to do what I do just hopefully share the love um, so yeah I wouldn't have thought of buying this camera and starting a YouTube channel if I really didn't or if I felt like I didn't know what I was doing like with with the whole eBay and the, the reselling and the store and all that so I mean yeah I mean you can look at it however you want making $20 a pair of shoes does seem like nothing but if you get to the point where you have a nice fat inventory and you have some good things you don't have to sell things like Jordans only where you make 200 or 300 dollars a pair or even a thousand or whatever these guys are making I've done that before I mean but it just wasn't my neck it didn't work as well for me um, I, I couldn't find good enough connections to get to get things wow this guy this homeless guy is freaking out on his shopping cart but yeah, I, I couldn't find enough solid connections where it was like a consistent thing to get Jordans or, or to get things like Yeezys. 
I couldn't get anything like that on a regular basis, so it was kind of hard to make money. I'd make 200, but then it would be two more months before I could even do anything again. Off, I mean, off one pair of shoes, make 200. Um, but yeah, I'd make, I'd get get like five pairs or something, and then I wouldn't see any for a couple months. So it was like, I took it a detour on this, and I decided, why don't I just sell shoes that everybody wears, not just sneakerheads, like everyone, your dad, um, my mom, like everybody, like grandparents, grand, grandparents, aunts, uncles, they all wear everything, or everything I have, they wear. So that way you're not just selling to a sneakerhead culture only, you're selling to the entire like world, basically. So, in my eyes, that was a really good idea, and it has worked out. I only make $20, I mean, because the shoes I sell, or only, I mean, I sell, most of my shoes are about a hundred. Um, I do sell a lot, I mean, some, like some um, Ultra Boosts, I get those a lot, those, um, the Adidas Ultra Boost, those sell for about 200, 225, um, but most of my shoes are 80 to a hundred dollars. Almost anyone can afford an 80 to a hundred dollar pair of shoes, and I only make, usually on a hundred dollar pair of shoes, I make about 30 bucks. That, that'd probably be a good average. So, 30 bucks, if you, I mean 30 bucks and I, I'm not just selling one a day or even one a week. I'm selling at least, bare minimum, I'm selling at least like 7 to 10 pairs a day. And I just started doing this back in December. Right now it's July. I started last December, or in just the most recent December. So I mean I've only, I didn't just start then doing this. I've been doing this for fun on the side with, with my other main job. Um, I had a real, I had a real job. I, I um, was a manager at a restaurant. I made good money. Everything was going well. But and I started doing this on the side, for, just for fun. I thought it was cool. Like I, I got a, a little rush out of it all the time. So I just stuck with it, kept doing it. And um, that was about two years ago when I started doing it on the side in between my job. Um, and I started getting miserable at my job. I didn't like it anymore. Um, I didn't like the way I was being treated. I won't say names or anything, but it just it wasn't fair to me So, you know, I, I said I'm gonna take my uh, my eBay things going pretty good I think if I just dive all the way in and treat it like it's my full-time job I could make it my full-time job and I, I did that um, It only took me. I mean I went from selling stamp socks and some small things like that because I only had like a thousand dollars invested total when I was doing it and I was managing the restaurant um, but then when I, I, I decided one day I was like I'm gonna leave the restaurant and do this full time I talked to my girlfriend about it and I told her what I wanted to do she said hey you usually are so ambitious you can use you usually make things happen no matter what so she basically told me I should do it um, and I did and um, I started really putting effort into it in December and left my I left my job on December 18th um, and that was the last day I worked there and since December until now which is about six seven months um, I, I've grown crazy I was selling stamp socks and nothing more than that really they're like little small things and I was just selling like a couple pairs of those a week now i'm selling i'm up i'm doing good i'm selling an elite, like some sometimes 15 to, usually 15 shoes sometimes 30 shoes sometimes even i've done 40 in one day so i mean it's cool to see how much i've grown over the past six months it's not even that long but the other haters haters also want to say you just started doing this you act like you know what you're doing I've been doing this two years that isn't very long but it isn't just like I just started out either I've been doing it two years I've only been doing it six months where I've wholeheartedly put all of my heart and soul into selling stuff online only so yeah let's clear that up um, but you know you can do this you just gotta you gotta figure out what you want to sell exactly and if you want to sell in volume or if you want to sell smaller and only sell one thing a day or one thing a week or maybe even one thing a month you can sell I mean if you sold cars on eBay you could only have to sell one one car I mean every two months but um, yeah just figure out your knack, your knack and um, that's just how you got to do it um, but yeah just keep in mind you don't have to sell Jordans you don't have to sell these limited releases you can think of it differently buy buy the cheaper stuff um, not necessarily cheaper, just like the stuff that everybody buys, not just sneakerheads. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling into REI right now. I'm going to get this new tripod so these videos will be much better. 
Um, I will see you guys. Sorry, I will see you guys soon. I'm trying to park. Um, I will see you at Nike. Maybe even when I get out of REI because I might want to just try out the tripod and see how it works. But yeah, out. Yo, so I just got back in the car from REI and this tripod is bad A. It is called the jo oh here I got the box right here. I'm driving so I can't do this very long, but the Joby. Um let's see here. The Joby Hybrid Gorilla Pod. This thing is so quality. I don't know. Maybe I'm over overdoing it and saying it's way cool it, it's a nice tripod though and it has it even has a leveler on it so you can see like make sure it's level or like if it's leaning one way make sure it's not um, but yeah that that was a nice little touch to it i didn't know it was gonna have um, and then it's just a solid tripod all together enough about that though um i told you i'd see you over at nike after this um that was a lie uh my barber just texted me back so i'm gonna stop off and get my hair cut um, but yeah, I'm going into his uh, his place right now after that. I promise. I'll see you at Nike then Ross um, You can see my fresh fade but Yeah, I'll see you here in a little bit late All right guys, so I'm having trouble with the screen. It looks like it's hard to see me, but anyways um, So the barber shop was a good stop got my hair faded um, I don't know how well you can see it kind of hard to tell but yeah, I got that skin fade anyways while I was in the barber shop just having small talk other barbers in the line like there's like four or five of them in there they all heard me talking sold a pair in Air Max 90 Air Max 95s um, also I'm in the middle of moving right now and I needed to get rid of some of my furniture and stuff and so I sold some of my furniture nothing exciting that's not any of my business like none of my business stuff but sold my uh, washer and dryer possibly my entertainment center that was pretty cool um, but yeah it was kind of funny I just made sales in uh, in the barber shop plus my my own barber bought a pair of uh, these um, Nike classics they uh, the flight classics they, they were pretty sick but uh, yeah no so now I'm on my way down to Nike we are going to pop in here it might, might not be too exciting because usually Thursdays the sale hasn't started yet but uh, if it's not too exciting in there, we'll head over to Ross and then head over to Goodwill. Catch you guys in a minute. Going to Nike. What the? Oh, Tarina, I heard so much about you. I was like, Arr? pause, what? Uh, I was like, oh. I'm so glad I just got all that on camera. Oh, did you really? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up. Hold on, sorry, I'm trying to, my tripod was all screwed up. Um, I ended up getting all the Janowskis. The ones that have like the engraved. I can't think of the name. What's the like bandana print? What is that called? Paisley. Like the, it looks like the Paisley. Yeah, so we're checking out. I got those and then I got the, the basketball shorts. I, my arm always drifts in and starts to get right here. I'll get used to it. Yeah, so I'm paying, I'll see you over at Ross next. Yeah. Talking about hooking me up and giving me a 10% increase. <laughs> Just for that, I hit debit. Well, I thought the manager was touching me. This is Torino, this is my boy. <laughs> He's gonna throw out a shot. <laughs> hey, G-U-Z-M-A-N-T-I, follow your boy on Instagram. There we go, there we go. <laughs> So I was just walking out and I forgot to look in the women's section. I never forget that, but I remember, I was like, what am I doing? These right here, they're like, just like a, they're the um, Primo Court Mid Suede. But these look so sick and just that classic look to me. They're women's, but um, yeah, they're only $19.97. So definitely gonna have to get some of those. Um, yeah, I'm already done checking out, but I'll have to get 10 more. There are 10 of these up there. Do the checkout all over again. <laughs> Always Thanks, Christian. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I need to stop. Stop. <laughs> Haters. Haters. So we got, we got 10 more. 
I had to grab another 10. Those were good. So actually, today wasn't too bad of a day. Leaving with 20 pairs of shoes and some oversized basketball shorts. What? What was that? Uh, 199. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good to go. We're good to go. Charge it to the game. It's got the Nightster. Ah! <laughs> uh, Coos, can I get some apparel? Uh, yes, Coos is not in apparel, so I'm driving. Uh, yeah, apparel. right. I got stacks. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that hard headed. It's debatable. Ooh, boy! So today actually turned into a really good day. Uh, not really. Actually, it's pretty dang good because I thought for a Thursday it was going to be weak. Oh, sorry about that. I thought it was going to be nothing big, nothing really. Usually on Thursdays I go in and I look for stuff that I'm going to buy on Friday or Saturday. But um, actually, that's what a little load looks like. That's called a haul right there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> But yeah, so I spent, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I only spent for that, my whole car is basically full. And I spent uh, 700, which is a little higher than I will normally spend on 20 pairs of shoes and a couple basketball shorts. Because I paid $45 per, per shoe for those Janowskis. That's usually, or that's a little higher than I will normally go. But um, today, tried to cop them they um i could tell the style of janowski that they are they they're gonna they would sell out of nike like not by bulk buyers but just other random people would buy those out because 44.99 is a pretty good deal and um yeah they were already flying off the shelves while i was in there so i was like i'm gonna grab these before they're all gone they would have lowered the price on them eventually but just yeah i didn't want to miss out on them completely and then I mean, either buy them now for a little more than I want to pay, or just um, wait it out and hope. And I mean, and maybe, maybe end up not getting any at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm all out of breath. I was carrying all those bags in one load. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm driving over to Ross right now. Um, I'm gonna probably be short in Ross. I got quite a bit of stuff in my car. I don't, I don't really want to shop too much longer but i still promised you i was going to ross and goodwill so i'm gonna go to both um see you in a second boy so i am going to definitely cut out the entire ross scene i did some recording in there but it was totally lame there was nothing in there was worth it so that's all cut out now so we're skipping to right now we're on our way to goodwill and then I'm getting really hungry, so I think I might hit. Maybe I should go right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some food at Dairy Queen again. My first vlog was at Dairy Queen. When I'm when I'm filming, it's just easier. Hit up some drive-throughs, and Dairy Queen is right here with Ross and Nike. So that's why I was there last time, and I'm going there again. But um, Dairy Queen, it is. I love food. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna be like, what? Let's see, what should I get today? Welcome to Dairy Queen, I can take your order when you're ready. Yeah. All right, can I get, um, can I get the uh, this $6 box? We are no longer doing that, it is past four, we only did it till four. Oh, okay. Um, then I'll just get a cheeseburger meal. Cheeseburger meal? Yep, yeah, with a Dr. Pepper. With a Dr. Pepper? Yes, please. Is that everything? Yep. 419 in the second window, please. Thank you. God, every time I come to this freaking Dairy Queen, there's issues. Last time, they wouldn't give me the my peanut butter parfait mm -hmm. with the six buck box. They used to have the six buck box only like a week ago, and I got that. And then they, but they said they couldn't give me the peanut butter parfait with it, which I got the week before that. Well, now this week they're saying they don't even fucking, they don't even sell the six dollar box anymore. Probably the last time I'll come here. It's so convenient though, man, bruh. 
All right, so I'm at Goodwill. I'm gonna mow this down. Listen to some music. Chill out. Mm. I wonder how I can get a better view. How do people do that? Mm. I don't know. This looks pretty good, I guess. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what I can do better. If you know what I can, something I can do better, hold it over here. Maybe I should get a dash mount. My dashboard's kind of, it's not very far back. So if I had it on the dash mount, it'd be right here. I mean, I could move it over and have it. It'd be kind of up in my face like this, but. Yeah, give me some suggestions. Um, I'm probably not gonna get too much at Goodwill because I got that, I mean, that haul, I'm not like, oh, this is the biggest haul ever, it's not huge, but it's pretty decent. And usually when I get, so, like, a pretty neat, decent haul like this, I won't waste my time with, like, a used pair of shoes at Goodwill or a jacket that's used. One jacket, that one thing is going to take all that time to list and put on eBay and examine it and take pictures and these shoes, I mean, I bought 10 of each one. I just take a picture of one of them and list all 10 of them and it's done. So, it's a little easier. See you inside. So guys, I just walked in and wow. It's really quiet in here so it's awkward to talk loud, but check this out. This was on the floor right when I walked in underneath the shelf. So hold on, let me get the camera turned around. Hold on a sec here. So, yeah, this is, it's like the middle of the summer, so this isn't really ideal right now, but it's got this super vintage looking Tommy Hilfiger, it's got it on the arm, it's got the yellow on the inside, this is a super thick jacket too, it's like winter, but um, but yeah, it's got even the Tommy right here under the hood, but yeah, this, this I think is a good cop, I think it's worth it buying it, probably, probably won't sell it till end of the summer or so but definitely definitely a good find copping Nothing too exciting in the t-shirt section usually. T-shirts, I mean, what do you expect to find, but... Yo guys, so just got home, um, had a pretty good day actually today. Um, I kind of skipped the most of the vlogging at uh, Goodwill because it was kind of weird. There were just a lot of people staring at me when I started talking or anything like I was being rude or something. But um, yeah, I just felt weird. The guy in the pink shirt at Goodwill with his camera and everything and all these people were giving me weird looks. And there wasn't much that you missed anyway, so I wasn't too worried about it. But um, we had a good day. We had a good day at Nike. Um, that's what that was like the main set of the day anyways um, This isn't that big of a, a load or anything, but it's big enough to where I'm excited and happy You guys can at least see that I do do this and I do find good big. I mean big um, piles and big hauls that I get um, I will make a pretty decent amount of money off of everything I got today So that way I, I mean at least it's not just all talk. I do find but uh, big buys um, I come home with stuff and uh, so the first shoe I got out here um, was the SB Janowski's. We're just gonna do a little recap of everything I got. I paid $44.97 for these. Um, and I was lucky because they were $69.99, you can see, yesterday. They've been that way for the past like month. They dropped them down this morning and I went in there today and they were selling like really fast. They were leaving the shelves. I was watching people pick them up while I was there. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to hold off on these and wait longer because I know that they probably would drop in price a little bit. 
Um, but I don't know if they would because they would sell out before Nike would even lower the price on them because people were just grabbing them up today and they were almost all gone. So I just grabbed as many as I could. Um, so yeah, that's those. I got 10 of those. Um, my girlfriend came also and I think I had her buy like three of them. So that worked out on that. I got a pair for myself and those. I really like those. And then the second pair, um, let's see, what else did we get? Oh yeah, these right here. Oh, the court mids. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. That is all we got. So I got those. I got 10 of those. And then I got about 16 of these. The court high top mids. They are women's. But I even bought a pair of these for myself. I don't care. Doesn't matter. I got a size 11 in women's. And they fit me perfect. I already tried them on. Super, super dope. Old school looking shoe. I don't know what, why, but I just really like it. And honestly, this is such a basic classic shoe it doesn't matter if they're men's or women's they're just both the exact same but super good deal on these these were a no-brainer at all 1997 how can you pass that up um i see that they're only going on ebay for about 60 bucks but you pay 20 for them so you're good but yeah that and then the they're like extra they, i don't know if they look like it in the video but these are like extra long or extra wide leg um basketball shorts they're a really quality material but sorry it's kind of hard to see there but they're like a bigger leg like longer and wider than they would normally be but yeah i got those for 11.97 i only got about five pairs of these because i feel like they're gonna have a sale tomorrow i'm almost positive they will and uh these will be 30 percent off tomorrow off the 11.97 so i just got five of them just in case they don't and like just in case other people grab them today before so at least i got some of them those are selling for about 50 or 60 online too so pretty good anyways good day um ross didn't i don't think i yeah i didn't leave with anything at ross so um yeah gonna wrap up the day um i gotta get online start posting all this stuff and i will see you guys maybe tomorrow maybe the next day um, to probably tomorrow because every Friday I always go to Nike and I do all my runs again because that's the, the weekends are always the sales. So subscribe to my channel guys, like my page, comment if there's anything you want to see me do or if there's anything you think I should change or just anything you want to say, feel free to comment. Um, I appreciate comments, good or bad. It teaches me what I need to stop doing and what I should do. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel now. I'm going to keep having better and better videos. Let's do it.